I'm Paul Loomis. I'm the mayor of the town of Oro Valley. I've been mayor now for 11 years. Oro Valley is uh, in a unique position where it's at the foot of the Catalina Mountains and has a fabulous uh, view shed and the uh, mountain changes color during the sunset during the day. Fortune 500 magazine uh, voted Oro Valley one of the top 100 places to live and launch a small business in their magazine. So that has kind of placed us, you know, very high in people's minds when they, that's something that we're very proud of. The people of our community is what makes our community such a great place to live. You know, they're very active and participate on our boards and commissions and they help guide us to our future. And I think, you know, you can't beat this scenery. I mean, you know, we have a great quality of life. So I guess it's our quality of life that really makes Oro Valley such a great place to live. Um, we have a couple of very good high schools here in Oro Valley, uh, both CDO High School, which, uh, won, which won the award in the decathlon, and uh, Ironwood Ridge, and both of them compete very well. Uh, we have a very well-educated population, and they're very engaged. They want to participate at all levels of our community. And one of the things, of course, when you have, uh, you know, that type of, of uh, of achievement, uh, you know, you, you have a, a competitive edge to yourself. You know, we have a lot of managers that live in Oro Valley, a lot of financial analysts that live in Oro Valley, and I think that that uh, achievement level and, and strive for success and reaching goals is part of, of their personality and what they push with their kids. So, you know, I think that it's just all part of the equation, what they expect, their expectations are high. And so I think the district and the teachers and everyone meets to le um, meets uh, those high levels of expectations. Uh, Canyon Del Oro High School is a suburban high school in the northern end of Tucson. We uh, serve quite an area of, of students in so much that uh, we have a relatively small feeder pattern and 40% of our students are now open enrollment. In other words, they come to us from uh, surrounding districts uh, as well as uh, within our own district, but from different schools. Academic Decathlon started in Southern Arizona in 1983. There was only one team participating that year. Um, and I think Canyon Del Oro started in 1986 or 1987 and did finish in the top couple, two, second or third place for a lot of years. Um, but it wasn't until the 2000 and two year that we first won the regionals and that was my third year coaching and we've won the regional competition ever since then and finished in the top three of the state ever since then also. When I came to CDO in 2000 the academic decathlon program was already very strong. Uh, we were already one of the top southern schools in the program but it's gone nowhere but up since then. The students have uh, dedicated a great deal of time to it. Our instructor, Chris Yetman, has uh, put in countless hours in uh, planning and, and teaching. And the school has put in quite a few resources as well. So it's one of our premier programs and we take it very seriously because it gives a great outlet to the students. And of course, it, it brings uh, some great notoriety to the school when it comes to academics. Well, I joined Academic Decathlon as a freshman in high school. And beforehand, I actually don't really remember what I did because it's been so long. I read more for pleasure, that's for sure. But um, I was kind of bored. I did Odyssey of the Mind and that was fun, but it wasn't really as challenging. So, and my team split up anyway when we went to high school. So I really didn't have anything to do. And then I joined Academic Decathlon and I, at first I wanted to cry because it was really, really hard and there was a lot of studying, especially for a freshman. It was my first class in high school, so I came into this sort of intense situation with upperclassmen who were at the top of their class and I was told I'd be competing with them for a spot on the team. And needless to say, I didn't make it my freshman year though. It was still a really good experience. And so that's basically what I did in decathlon at first. And that was my introduction to it was just being very stressed out, but also realizing it was a good opportunity to meet a lot of fellow nerds. <laughs> I'm a junior, so I'll be a senior next year. So what uh, what did you get out of this year? Well, like $4,000 of scholarships and lots of experience and 
I, I got to travel to Memphis and I got to compete and function at a very high level that I probably wouldn't outside of academic decathlon.